Again, we are having a very short, uh, short connection because the TV is not available. We're still trying to get connection to help you people understand the move, whatever dark energy you may have from all the things going on in this world today. So thank you all of you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need everyone to participate. This time we're going to do something different. Mm. Okay, my loan, my things down. Okay, very nice. So, thank you very much. I don't know how many of you join our our Facebook live from the Genghis Khan uh, monument was built specially for him. But they had pictures of everybody and everything else there. I'm sure you all watch it. Go and watch it again. I see a lot of things there, down there. How many people came, how many clans came, how many Khans came. Everybody, see the Khan is a man who is a, who is the leader of the tribe. Okay, so they have a Khan, like a king, a king, like that. So, so then all his descendants become king. In the Didic part, they become Khan, Khan, Khan. So I'm not sure whether Salman Khan or, 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 or other Khan, are they, they involved in this Khan language? People just put the word Khan. There's no link yet. On link going on. Oh, you have link of people it. People on the link. That's something will share. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a link. Why you don't have a link? Yeah. Okay, my friends. Have everybody got the link? Good. So you must understand. Some of these places can carry a lot of negative energy. You can have a different idea of the whole thing. I'm not here to talk about your ideas or anybody's ideas. Everything, they die, they all go up, go up, go up, go to heaven, and all go to heaven. <laughs> you know, that's not simple. If that's the case, why do we have so much of people suffering from, from schizophrenia uh, and bipolar and haunted houses, haunted buildings and haunted cows and... I'm not haunted cows. <laughs> <laughs> Haunted caves and haunted bridges and haunted roads and accidents so frequent, you know. Why do they have? People go in France and all the cool devis and cool devas and everything else. These are the souls. Mm, people don't understand that. Many people think, like, for example, when we went down to this, uh, this, uh, uh I don't know, I don't know, that, 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 that can't even remember so many places I go. There was this big ten Larazzo, Larenzo, ten Larenzo, now it come to me. You know, San Laranzo is like a big church in uh, in Spain. You visited the place and he says that people walk 120 kilometers. They stop by, they stay in a hotel. They stop by, they stay in a hotel. They, they, they go down there. You know, so after reaching that, you get a certificate that you have qualified as a San Lorenzo, uh, agent of San Laranzo. And if you do a few more rounds like that, you're assured to get uh, a connection or go straight to heaven to meet him. <laughs> And I was like, so shocked. I told Laura, why there are so many souls here all waiting to go up? There's no gate there. So everybody living in Thorn Farm. 100 kilometers, people in Spain, they'll sit down and rest and go. Indian place will walk 200 kilometers non-stop. <laughs> <laughs> and when they arrive there, they bring them milk and they even shave ball. They do something like that. So it's all commitment. And the worst was St. Luke's Temple. People walk on the knees. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, what's wrong with the people? Walking on knees, you know how difficult it could be on the road, you know, not, it's not 100 meters. I'm not sure how many kilometers. Should call Laura to find out. She will give you the answer. I hope, she, yes, seriously. I just wonder, you know, what is wrong with the people? What the belief system? So they all die, they all think, they all will go to heaven. Hmm? Walking on knees or rolling around, it's not going to take you to heaven, my friends. It's not. It's never going to take it. To, it's never going to take you to heaven. So I'm calling Laura now. Let's talk to Laura and tell her the send uh, the send uh, call uh, uh, not Lady Fatima send Lutz. So there's a soul down there. The children saw that and they make a they make a uh, they make a big church for that. And they had they had to get confirmation from many many people. The three children see the same soul at the same time. It's a female soul. So they call it send. Uh, Oh, what is the name of the in, in Paris, between border of Paris and, uh, and Spain. And we, sorry, no. and we went down there, you see. Hmm? So I can't remember what was it. Uh, so many places I go, I can't remember St. Lorenzo. And very famous, not Fatima, not Fatima. She's not picking up the call. Hmm? 
Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should call somebody else. She's not picking up the call. Let me call Begonia. Begonia. This time she never came. I can call her. She won't be able to speak English. Ah, Begonia. Okay, let's see, huh? What is the name of this soul? Laura. No, 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 no. <laughs> see, so many names in my head. Too many names. In Spain, is it? In Spain. Border between Spain and... Uh, what about all the Spanish people? Are they sleeping? She's not picking up also. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Begonia, pick up the call. She speaks English. I can call the other one. She doesn't speak English. So it's so difficult. I call her Laura. I call her Rosario to make the connection. Mm. She speaks uh, Portuguese and, and French. Mm. No, Spanish people. Oh, sleeping, 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 sleeping. They're not, they're not supposed to sleep now. It's about 3 o'clock noon. Now, so we all, wherever I go down there, I, I do my blessing at 2 o'clock noon. Hmm? Rosario is in. No, she won't know. She won't. Mm. No, she won't know. Let her call back. And then it's very interesting. No, they walk on the knees. Knees, 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 knees. I'm not joking. You try walking in the knees and see how is it like. Mm -hmm. Crawling on the knees, you know. Yeah. And I don't know why people do that. They think that something's going to change. No, nothing's going to change. A lot of Indian people from Sri Lanka and all of them got, you can have an Indian food there. Because a lot of Indian travel there. A lot of Christians, Indians travel from India, they go down there, no? Mm. What's the name? So it's believed to know that they heal all the leg, the leg, walking also. People say, after I become, I'll walk on my knees to go and pay my tribute. A lot of people come with knee problem, leg problem. Okay. Hmm? Accident thing. And sometimes they come and they put down there. They, they donate the, the stick, hoping something will happen. It's mm. not loose. Loose. Oh, okay. Correct, correct. Loose. Say L, L, L. Always loose. Yeah, I had a name just now. Yeah. And Laura came then, forgot the name. Mm. You know, loose. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Mm. Okay, right. So let's start now. So 18 of uh, 2. Mm. Take a break. Let me get my, my thing here. Yes, Saint Lourdes, 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 they call it Lourdes in their language, you know, Santo Lourdes. So many, many saints down there. Sometimes it works, I'm not saying it doesn't work, some, for some people it works. Sometimes there's some, there could be some energy down there doing that. Some of you may learn, okay. So, so, okay, so now from Ulan Bator, Mongolia, very nice place, we were here. Very few things to see actually. <laughs> Grassland, no trees, hmm, no trees, no motorbikes, so no pollution. Seriously, no motorbikes. The only motorbike is the high level one, the high level one. And one guy we saw a motorbike, he was delivery boy. <laughs> I was like, hey, I said, Patricia, there, we saw the motorbike, the delivery boy. Maybe especially for delivery boys, there's one delivery boy. So I don't know. But also remember, all the people eat a lot of meat here. Meat, 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 meat. Yeah. Mm, lot. Yeah. And no fish. If you're a fisherman, you're going to get any fish in this country. You've got to go out. You know, no fish. Okay, whatever. Never mind. No problem. So remember this. Blessing and evaluating a soul supporting the dark energy from Middle East. Okay? So this is always ongoing. So please, whenever you have time, do the blessing. Because that place is very volatile. Anything can happen, some people will go crazy and do something and everything goes up, you know. So it's so difficult, so volatile, you know, one guy say something and da, that's it, you know. So sentimental, so sad, very, very sad. Hmm? Right, now, blessing and removal of dark energy, dark energy. Remember, today we're going to remove the dark energy of all the ancient, ancient dark energy in the inner world who's supporting all this war. How come a war can happen? And suddenly everything will go wrong. How is it possible? So something must be very, very strong out there causing this problem, my friend. So we want to make sure this all happens and we want to clean as much as we can, like how we did uh, on, the on, 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 on Saturday. Yesterday we went to the monument, we sat down and we removed all of them. And, and, and you can see how many people came, how many souls came. Everything was there. So this is what we need to do, my friends. Mm? Okay, okay, let me share with somebody. Let me see. Okay.
Okay, good. So I hope everyone is sharing. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So that's why I'm starting early now. So today is the 18 blessing of all dark energy from families and home and also country. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to spend some time. I'm going to skip this also. We're skipping too many things today. <laughs> Cancer patients skipping. Okay, blessing Mother Earth, blessing, asking for forgiveness. So what I'm trying to say is, whenever there's a war, hmm, it's not two men fighting. I still remember these English people, there are two guys who said, we will take a challenge, and both will have a gun, and they'll walk 10 steps, and turn and shoot each other. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? I'm sure you can settle it very nicely, you know. This man can have wife, can have children, can have girlfriend, can have a mother. If you just kill a man, either you get hurt or you kill each other. You know, and, and they shoot like that. Now, this is Patricia. Patricia I say hi, Patricia, everybody. Uh, she's good to me. I was just telling that this, these guys, the, the, they were two, two horses, and they had a long knife, or long, I don't know what, a sword or what. It's about six minutes, and they run and poke each other. I said, what kind of, what's wrong with these people? Huh? And the gladiator, uh, how they put all these young, old, old people, eaten by tigers and all the slaves, especially during the time when they were Christian, the Roman Empire didn't like the Christian, they were killing all of these people. And today they have the biggest, the headquarters of the Roman Catholic called the Vatican City, the smallest country in the world. And look at, look at the irony, you kill so many people, and now we are the Roman, we are the Roman Catholic, we are the pure Catholic and you've got so many properties, people give you everything and at one point in time, all of Europe listen to that, except for the London. London, I am not listening to you. I am not. We're going to have our own. They call it Church of England. I'm not going to, you know why he said, I want to marry again or divorce. He said, no, 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 you cannot divorce. The Roman, no, no, no. Really? I'm going to divorce my wife and I'm going to marry another one. That's it. I don't want a religion. We will follow the uh, Church of England. That's how we started the Church of England. And then the Protestants, the whole fight in, in, in Ireland was between the pro Protestants and the Christians. You know, so much of war, so much of war, no? So much of war going on just for this, these two guys. So imagine how the war has killed so many people in the name of religion, in the name of ethnic cleansing. I don't like your race, I don't like your people, I don't like this, they kill you for that. So imagine how much of war. So look who is affected. Mother Earth is affected. Because she's, she's the mother of everybody. The cry of the animal being killed for no reason. The cry of the, uh, of the human beings crying, bombing and dying and children screaming. All that go to Mother Earth. So how much you can take. So this energy still stays in those places. They still stay there. The sadness, the blood pouring down. How many wars? The France war, the, the Russian war, the war in Middle East, the war in South Africa. Everywhere this war. Red Indians are fighting and killing each other. Then you've got the Aztec, the Mayans and, and the Incas killing each other, slaughtering them. So much of war. The Chinese. I'm not sure what we're going to find tomorrow in the Great Wall of China. Those days were fighting, so many people fighting, you know. The dynasty, the Xing dynasty, the, the, the Xing and the Ming, all fighting and killing each other. You understand? So at least now they've come back to a peace, the peace. The Indians are fighting. The Sri Lankans are fighting. The Tamil and the Tamils and the Sindhus are fighting. Everywhere. The Japanese also have their own fight. The whole world is fighting, you know? <laughs> now I talk about it. The Maoris are killing each other for ethnic. We are a stronger tribe. Then you go to, you, you go down to, uh, you go down to, how do I say? You go down to um, Hawaii. They were fighting each other. Hawaiians fighting each other. So how long can this all go on? How long can this all go on and on and on? When is it a stop? When is it a stop? When are you going to stop all of these things? Hmm? So, so, so that's why we're trying our best to go to each and every part of this world to change as much and so. Forgiveness to Mother Earth is very, very important. Hmm? Okay, right? Next time, blessing again. Ask your forgiveness. I do it two times to make sure that you understand this forgiveness is such an important thing that everybody needs to ask forgiveness to Mother Earth. Okay? So, as I say, thank you very much, all of you, for joining us again. Everybody's coming now. So, it's Sunday blessing. Mm -hmm. Sunday blessings. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Good. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for joining again. So again, blessing us in forgiveness to all living and non-living things on Mother Earth. Blessing of the nature, beings, even trees. We cut trees for no reason. You know how many, how much a tree is cut? Probably all the trees in, in, in Mongolia have been cut to make bows and arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm telling you. Maybe there's no more trees, you know. You must have cut all the trees to make bow and arrows. I, I'm not surprised. Because they were fighting for so many years. The bow and the arrow come from wood. And everything else shadows also. There's no trees. Maybe they finish all the trees. No, I'm not joking, you know. Seriously, I'm thinking, you know. Even Haiti. There's no trees in Haiti, you know. Haiti? Yes. It's a they tropical cut, country. Yes, they cut them all and made charcoal to export. Oh my God. Yes. Even Haiti is a problem. The, on this side is Santa Dominican Republic. That's fine. But Haiti is half and they've cut out all the trees and they made into charcoal to sell. Oh. You know, so we are playing with Mother Nature. We are not, even today, we are making paper. Paper comes from? Wood. Wood. From plants. But the, the, the government has got rules. You've got to plant again. And after some time you plant and then you put it again. So the planting, replanting is going on. And replanting is about eight, nine years before you can harvest them and, and do it again. It's not it's not that like today you go and plant, tomorrow you get a tree. No, no, no. It's not like planting paddy or, or weed where six months you got everything done and you're fine. No, 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 no. You must find some other way of making making all of these things. Okay? So even trees, you have to ask for giving Mother Earth to all the trees. The species, in fact, when we're traveling in Mongolia, there's only one species of tree. <laughs> And you find another one. Yeah, birch. Birch. But, but I, I think it looks like planted, but, but somewhere to plant here, no? You know what I mean? So maybe they all have to ask, forget Mother Earth. Then maybe the trees will grow easily, no? So because I do not see people have started planting even vegetables. It's just goats and cows and horses eating all the, all the, all the grass. And, and they were all serving only this thing. But I think all the others, they're importing from somewhere else. You understand? I don't. I didn't see any farm planting cucumber no. or whatsoever. No, maybe they all coming from China or somewhere else. Yeah. Even China, is a vegetable is so strong. We can find in Malaysia Chinese ginger, Chinese broccoli, Chinese cauliflower, Chinese carrot in Malaysia. I said, what is wrong with people? Maybe they're cheaper. They do some other way of making uh, big, big stuff. You know, they do yeah. some other way so they can have production is double. They can export all over the world. And you got 1.3 billion people or 1.4 billion people. At the same time, you can export vegetables. Mm. It's a shame on Malaysians and people mm. buying vegetables from somewhere else. Yeah. yeah, and then when the farmers become become lazy and they don't plant anymore, then 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 they won't have, you won't have your own supply. All come overseas, and one fine day they stop it, and you're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Mm? So be careful, my friend. Don't go against Mother Nature. So we should all ask forgiveness to all the living trees. And this I say, plant one tree. On your birthday, plant one tree. When you're born, you plant tree. Every birthday, go out and plant tree. So when you're 60 years old, you die, you've got 60 trees. <laughs> that will be a thing. And you must go back and see the first tree you plant when you're, when you're one year old. That tree will be 60 years old. That's why I'm asking everybody. If the whole world can plant one tree every birthday, you've got one, how many million people? They've got six, uh, almost seven billion people. You divide by 12, you have got maybe 600,000 people each day having a birthday party. So go out and plant. Rather than having a cake and things like that, go and plant, you know? You know, just, some, just to, remind, to remind everybody. I was talking about tree planting. You know, one of my girlfriends, you know, she said, Sir, your birthday in 2023, I will plant 100 trees. So there's a company in, a, in, 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 in Sabah and she sent some money to them and they gave a certificate. Uh, we are going to plant tree under Siva Vikraman Palani. So I've got 100 trees planted there. So hopefully I'm going to visit the plant with her. We're going to go together. Come, since you have given me, let's go and see the plant, the trees. 100 trees you've planted for me. Oh. Under my name. Thank you, my friend. Like that. So if we can all do that, it only costs like 2,000 ringgit, but not everybody can afford 2,000 ringgit. So I'm saying don't do that. You can, if you have money, you do it, fine. But I'm saying every birthday, every person must plant one tree. You live on 90, my father is 87, 88 years old now. If you had done that, you would have 88 trees. One will be 88 years old, one will be 86 years old, one will be 85 years old, one will be 20 years old, one will be 3 years old. Yes or no? Let's do this now. So let's, I want each and every one PV people to bet a pledge right now, say, every birthday I will plant a tree. You know why? This year birthday I planted a tree <laughs> in the PV center. 
So let's all take a bend, put the wand in front of your eyes and chakra, and put your Supreme God Divine for the Divine Mother, to all my spiritual guide, helpers, teachers, healing angels, the great coming God, the cosmic beings of Borobudur, Devaraja Bodo, all the holy angels, to all the Mother Nature, to all the nature beings of all type of trees on Mother Earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I make a pledge for myself, and if possible, I make a pledge also for my family and my children. We will plant one tree on our birthday. From the day I was born and the day I die, I will plant one tree. And I can make a difference because there are maybe about 7 billion people on Mother Earth. I divide by 12, it will be like 600,000 trees, 600,000 people every month having a birthday. So imagine, every day there will be 600,000 trees being planted somewhere in the world. And by no time, we will have lots and lots of trees. So Mother Earth, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the nature of the trees, of all kinds of trees. We ask forgiveness of whatever wrong we may have knowingly or unknowingly done to you. As a penance for all the wrongdoings of mankind have done to Mother Earth, to all the trees, we will plant one tree on every birthday. If I can plant two, I will plant two. One is just the minimum that you have to plant. I pledge on my life, on my soul, and Mother Earth, and all the nature beings, I will plant one tree a day on the day of my birthday. Mother Earth, thank you, thank you, thank you. To all the nature beings, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a being of divine fire. I am the purity God is eyes. My soul is soul of divine fire. My soul is the purity God is eyes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, my friends. You promise yourself. Do it, huh? This video will be played again for 24 hours. You go back home. All of you do the same thing. If you, do, if you miss the world, nah. let's do something. Let's make some changes. If you're living in a place where there's no trees, go out somewhere in the jungle, plant a tree and come back. Nobody will, plant, nobody will take it away from you, okay? Don't plant the roadside and the machine will cut it off. Put it such a place that you plant it, you know? And make sure there's no shade. When there's too much shade, they cannot grow. And in the one year before the next birthday, spend some time, go and look at it, pour some water. Give it life. Maybe put some manures. Once it grows, it'll take it by itself. Don't put the pot and say, hey, this is my, I put in a pot my birthday. Don't do that, okay? Find out. Find some bird, something that can give you lot and lots of uh, uh, lots and lots of greens, lot of lot of greens. Okay, they can plant and they will last long. They will last long before you die. before you die. They will still be alive and they will go on. Some trees can go up to 200, 300 years. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good guys, fantastic, huh? Everybody happy? Go to plant a tree now. <laughs> Okay, good. So now, blessing of all nature beings, right? Every drop of water is so important. Very, very important. Because one bird needs just a few drops of water to quench a thirst. A sesame seed needs one drop to grow and become a sesame tree. That's all. Look at the small, small seeds. They all grow. They all need water to life. Hmm? Right. You know what's love grass? When you, walk on the st when you walk on the grass, something will get stuck in your pants. Because I love grass, you know. A small bite, take them, and I bite them with a small nut inside. <laughs> Interesting. Just like a grass. Just like a, just like a rice, rice plant. It's just a seed. And I used to bite and tuck them. So imagine that little fellow gets stuck down there. When I do this, they fall down and they grow. Actually, it's not me. They want to get stuck to the animal fur when they're walking through the grass. And they fall down and they start growing. And even when the cows eat this grass, when the cow eat this grass, the seeds escape. And now the cow dung, the cow shit, becomes a manure growing ground for these things to grow. So whenever a cow dung, you'll find the, the grass there will be very fresh and very, very uh, fertile. Seriously, I've taken pictures of that show. The horse dung, yes, when the horse dung fall, all the grass dies. And after that, new grass will grow from the whole place. Because they are actually the organic food for the plant. These are what we call organic agriculture. Coming from the dungs of animals who only eat only eat grass. If, if you put on a dog shit, they will die. Nothing will grow for dog shit. <laughs> or human shit also, okay? Right. So now, blessing our Savior, blessing Mother Earth, blessing our Sun, and blessing our Moon. You know, in Mongolia, I saw they got symbol of the Sun and the Moon, but not Mother Earth. You know, I saw the, the, the Sun, the, the Sun only. I think I just thought, I'm going to make an emblem. Yeah. We're going to make one round, one small run, one one small run. The sun, the earth, and and the moon. I just decided. I came here. I saw them. They have a like, like a crescent moon, 
and they have got uh, the sun, the sun and the moon. But we got to have one more. We could have the sun, the mother earth, and inside a small one, the moon. Okay, that is going to be it. We'll design one plan that way. Okay, the sun, mother earth, and the moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, okay, good. So next, blessing mother earth, blessing of trees. I told you, blessing of trees. It's such an important thing. The trees need blessing. Lots of blessing the tree needs. They are alive. They depend on us. Don't cut them down unnecessarily. You cut one tree, you plant another tree. Recently, someone told me the Malaysian government, the prime said, if you cut one tree, you must plant a hundred trees. <laughs> he bred it after our, our, our two days back, before when we did that, he made, our, made a statement in the, in, in, the, in the newspaper. The prime minister, new prime Anwar Ibrahim, he said, if you cut one tree, you plant ten hundred trees to the government. That means the government people on the road, if they have to cut a tree for some road project, they must cut another hundred trees, they must plant a hundred trees. How nice. So this is what we say, you start doing all of these things, something will change. The government will change, somebody will change. Do divine fire for the government, do divine fire for the country, do divine fire for mother nature. You do not know, the impact will slowly come. Impact, it may take some time, but you keep on doing it, doing it, doing it, something will happen. Like how we did the divine fire for the countries of the Middle East. We didn't say Israel, we didn't say uh, uh, Palestine, we said the countries in the Middle East. You know, don't worry, you see, the whole thing works down together. Hmm? Okay, guys? So, blessing of all nature beings of Mother Earth. Hmm? Next. Then, blessing of rain. Huh? We have so much of rain, people are sending me videos, sir, it was rain, rain. Please play the video of rain, especially people in India where you don't have rain, please play the rain video. Don't expect the rain to come immediately. For some people it happens immediately, but keep on playing. Just play it around, sit down there for 2-3 minutes. That's what I'm asking you. For Mother Nature, for all of these things happening, okay? Good. Next, for, for non-living things as well. They need rain also. You don't think only you need rain. The rain has to go to rock, keep them subtle, keep them the mud has to work. You know, when you look at rivers, they're all dry. When the water goes, the mud comes life and everything works. So the mud needs water also, the sand, everything else. Hmm? Right. Blessing the ocean. We only talk about the eight ocean from very long time. And now they say there's a big ocean under the ground. You know, so the eight ocean. Blessing nature beings of the sky, the wind and the clouds. Okay. The work of mother nature and the sky is when she's angry. Wow. Look at her when she's angry. Yeah? Hopefully the word, I don't have a song. Sound. Look at the sound Mother Earth is giving. Mother Nature is very, very powerful. Whatever man make can all go down. So don't make us so much angry, my friend. Ask forgiveness. This is Dubai. It happened recently only. Recently. Look, look, the lightning striking the Bush Khalifa. The lightning striking the Bush Khalifa. Striking the tallest building in the world, Bush Khalifa. See the lightning, see the rain. It's really happened, huh? In Dubai. You never expected, huh? Eh? Mm. Please play for South, South Africa election. Madam, you put it in a group. Do divine fire for the country, do divine fire for the government, do divine fire for the election. Start doing that one, two, three, four, five, six times a day on the 27, 28, 29. Can you do that, South Africa? Put in a group. Maybe I'll make one for you guys. Dubai is flooded. Can you imagine?
visit Dubai, I could feel the negative energy and I feel dizzy. Lord has said that. A desert can have so much rain. Can you imagine? It's a desert. How is it possible? Because Mother Nature. Mother Nature is just beside. The ocean is there. The Red Sea. The, uh, the Indian Ocean. You know, they cannot move, they tight on the how they don't move. You know. So you lose it out, they can swim. They can swim. But they cannot be good you know. Elephants can swim, see all tight. How do they swim? And only die. To stop? How do you know? See the one now? Yeah, they found something swimming in the cow. They found a cow swimming in the ocean. I rescued the cow. Yeah, someone told me. Camel, they have never seen a flood. Yeah. This is desert. It's a desert. <laughs> Suddenly all is happening. What's happening? They are yeah, too shocked exactly. myself. Mm? Oh my goodness. So I'm going to call Laura. It's ringing. Hello? Laura. Hello? Please tell me. Yes? St. Ludus, St. Ludus, how many, how long they take to walk? On, on the on the knees to go and see the uh, the third church the the Ludus the 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 the, the, the nun. Lourdes, Lourdes yeah. in yes. yes. How long? How many yes. kilometers they walk? I know. I know. It's a lot. A lot. A lot of kilometers. Uh, many people is doing only one or two kilometers, but many people is doing twenty kilometers. Mm. It depending. Uh, every people it depends that they want to do to mm. to to say forgive mm. and to. And to uh, to um, uh, hurt themselves mm. because they are uh, bad people. Mm. So for that reason, they do like that. No, they they should do something yeah. good rather than walking and hurting themselves. They should do something good. Feed the animal, yes. plant some trees, take care of the father and mother, take care of people they don't know, go and work in the orphanage. They do something like that. You know, this is not going to help yeah, them. You know. They, they, they think that hurting themselves, they are uh, saying, uh, doing something good and saying to God, I'm uh, not a good person, I want to hurt myself to love uh, God, but it's not uh, like that. No, this is, this is, this is, this is like the Opus, this is like the, this is like the Opus Dei, you know, Opus Dei do the yeah. same thing. Yeah, but many, many other, many other groups, religious groups are doing that yeah. in other things, other so, things, not only Opus Dei. Self-flagellation. It's very sad. It's very, very sad. You know? very, very yeah. Sad. In fact, now uh, people are going to Rocío in Sevilla, in the south of Spain. Mm -hmm. It's a romería. They are saying uh, they go to to bring the Mother Mary. To, mm -hmm. They go to see Mother Mary and they walk during a week, every day, 25 kilometers mm -hmm. by walking only to go to see Mother Mary. And they go there and pray and, well, and dance also and they, they sing their songs. And it's only to see Mother Mary and to say this is uh, the Mother of God. And but Mother of God must be in uh, Jerusalem, not in Spain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But Mother Mary is big trouble, there's a big fight going on. How can they go to go to Mother Mary in Jerusalem? Oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes. He said, yes. No, he was born in Nazareth, Nazareth, right? Nazareth, right? He was born in Nazareth. Yeah, right? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
What to do, Rosa? Yeah. What to do, Rosa? What to do? And people don't understand simple yeah. things. Eh? Mm. Okay, thank you very much. People, thank you, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for all you are doing. Thank you very much. You see? You see, guys? You know, everybody, some, somebody creates something new and everything goes wrong. They create something, something, something. All create new things and all go up and down. So it's very sad. Please understand, my friend. You don't ever do all these things. Ask, forgive and repent by doing good things. By doing good things. Feed an animal, feed a bird, feed the trees. Pour water for the trees you now, you know. And, and, and that, that girl who planted 10 trees for me, she's uh, 100 trees for me, she told me, Sir, can you do me a favor? Can you find for me how I can feed the, the cattle with water. Some places there's no water for the cattle now. So I said, okay, I'll find something in India where they'll all go. We'll find some way to feed them because they need water to drink. Yeah. And so it's not easy to get water for animals. If you need 1.2 liter, imagine how much the cattle needs. You know, and they get only water there by eating the grass. How much can the grass give them the water? So we'll find something to help people out. Huh? Find out. Yeah? Right. Good. Okay, my friends. Okay, good. Now, arriving at Mongolia for the healing. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this, my friend. Then you understand what we, we go through every day, traveling around the world, understanding what's going on. Huh? Let's see how we can happen. Huh? We just arrived at Tajiskan Airport. Uh, it's about 12. Can you imagine? Look at that. You don't see a single tree. It's like a bunch of trees, otherwise just grassland, 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 grassland. Many people from this land have gone all over to Persia to rule China and many parts of this world. Can you imagine? If you're here today, there's got lots and lots of dark energy. As I told you, there are nine, <laughs> 970 levels of black magic. People ask me what levels of black magic are. You don't understand. Because of many, 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 many countries, many, many, many people, many, many souls around here. Right, starting from the airport, lots and lots of so. Let's see what we can do for this country. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. A very small airport, Kulang Batu Airport of Mongolia. Very small airport, but very well city. But not a single tree, my friends. Not a single tree I can see. No trees. My God. That's why they have a lot of gold. We gold, they need gold of that matter. People are nomads, they travel, horses, grassland. So a lot of grass, feeding animals live here. And you see, can you imagine? It's all we have. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Not a single thing. Land is no trees. Land is no trees. But it's not a desert. It's grass. Grass is growing. Yeah, it's not a desert. It's still grass growing. You should make the effort to grow some things, you know, some trees, like, it is cactus. You know, it is cactus, give, give oxygen, you know, some plant can grow. Okay, good. We are now, this is how it looks like. The so road is some. here, going like that. When you stop by, in this food, or street food, mm -hmm. it's like a rest area, lots of food, 
this is the food they have all food you see all meat other pork beef or mutton or chicken okay the land here is suitable for them to grow to, uh, uh, goat see the amount of goat is there the number of goats were there in the field lots and lots of goat in the grassland feed them with lots of thing and they're going down to they also eat horse here thing. you see lots and lots of restaurants here serving all kind of food ah this is the vegetables mm. vegetables here young mongolian friends going down see here you enter here you enter from here and then you go inside that's where the restaurant is that's how the house is that's how they live but now it's got plastic those days were no plastic you know all the way the nomads they break it down and move on yeah. to other place the it's not a permanent area, structure we're eating local for street foods come here the same kind of food they have a lot of meat and pancakes okay now going down here what's your name eh <laughs> young man the names are so different like different different to pronounce you know? lunch today is almost 2 o'clock local time the time in mongolia the time in malaysia is the same time <laughs> ridiculously <laughs> same time you know okay we're going inside the restaurant we go here the door is here we got to go down bend down into the door and this is the restaurant yeah and here is patricia we all sitting down here yeah. the driver taking us around to speak a bit of english that we can communicate we have a google translator we're coming here and we going to the kitchen this is the kitchen ah. but it didn't smell as bad as the one in nigeria it was okay all the cooking ah. nice nice restaurant okay good they were serving us milk giving us milk and the fresh part is with milk and salt salt <laughs> salt salted salt milk maybe we first time in life i've been salted so, milk patricia yeah we've been eating here right yeah how much salt in all the food oh my goodness i i can't even express <laughs> i just touch it as a oh can i do that oh, and the worst part yesterday's food yesterday. we had some korean food we had oh, throw it away all the food we throw it away in the dustbin yeah. you throw it in the dustbin we couldn't test salt. we couldn't we couldn't test the food yeah you know we had to throw the food back in the dustbin so sad how yeah, how people yeah. eat this kind of food you know mm. and there must be some diseases here some particular yeah, diseases of yeah. kidney should yeah, be yeah. they don't know no yeah. and 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 we saw all the people they all die very very early yeah for so, all the khan time 45 48 yeah. you know and kublai khan was 78 because he lives in china yeah. so chinese vegetable food and chinese food <laughs> you know chinese tea so Wait, look at the yurt yeah what body call is yurt y u r t ah uh, yurt so in a yurt this how they live this is a restaurant yeah. but they live here they sleep here they cook here this how it looks like but it's a yurt but they have modified it they have a front entrance and they have a kitchen by the side but normally kitchen there's no kitchen outside kitchen no, inside it's inside, inside. they got a chimney the chimney here yeah nice nice but today it's like a big umbrella you know like a big umbrella so those days there was no plastic you know yeah. it was made of uh, ham and and some kind of uh, grass and do all of this stuff you know it is all very nicely designed with things like a big umbrella yes <laughs> it's yeah. a huge umbrella you know yeah. look at it properly yeah. you know like a big stick coming down and a big umbrella the thing like just here as well you know we are the first customers here today <laughs> so we got to wait for the food mm. it's very early for them they just started opening i think oh. yeah the work clock is where they are probably sleep here and get up late mm. it's saturday you know yeah okay yeah. thank you very much you having lunch right now thank you thank you thank you thank you Please don't ask me what I eat. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> don't ask me what I eat. I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Explaining the soul and the dark energy removal at Mongolia. Hmm? So dark energy supports war. So you must understand some of this war is supported by dark energy. Hmm? Dark energy will support the dog. Dark energy is so strong that they come and influence the people to do a lot of things. It's very, very sad. But it happens. That, that's life. You know, just like you have got friends... or invisible friend instigating you in a way 
Like you start doing the same thing. Then I also friends who are not happy with you. Instead of you fight with your family and like for example you got a bad mother-in-law, she'll be the, the husband to fight with you, a son, or vice versa and all. So imagine you've got invisible friends coming and telling you the same thing and doing you and supporting you to do a lot of dark things. Now this is what I'm trying to say. So we have to find a way today. I want everyone to join, bring a special wand. And I'm going to also energize your other wands today so there will be special wands for you to use in the future. So let's do this now. Elevate all the souls who are in the inner world coming down and doing all of these things and supporting people. When they die, they go back and become like that. Hmm? So like that. So when the souls pass, pass on, they populate the inner world and continue the work of anger, revenge and fighting and killing and do all kinds of stuff. And somebody they give the protection to fight also. They protect people from, from, from going on. Okay? Right. Making the country and the people negative. The country can be all negative and all be negative also. Okay? Like this guy. Okay? Now I'm going to go down. This I'm going to show things like that. I'm going to, I'm going to show here like that now. You're going to do this way now. You can, say, you can understand. Mm -hmm. You can understand whatever is written down here. Okay. This is Kublai Khan. I don't think he looks look like a grandfather. <laughs> Kublai Khan. Yeah. He, he, he looks like grandfather. The artist may have been wrong. Maybe those days they never had a picture of people who could draw this properly, or maybe they draw, but they were all got lost. You know? So this is Kublai Khan, born May 31st, 1962, in this place called Kenti Mountain, died August 2027 in Jinping. Okay, that means he only lived for 47 years. 40, 45, for 45 years. 45 years. That, that's all he lived, 45 years. So imagine how life must have been. They must have very young. And I think, and they would have eaten a lot of this meat and end up with a lot of heart attack and heart problem, like what's happening today, no? The heart's getting clogged and people are dying. The biggest cause of that in Mongolia is about heart failure because they get clogged. What do you call that, Isil? Ischemia. Ischemia. Much easier to say block, the heart of, of block. <laughs> so ischemia, heart failure. That means all these things, no. So eating too much of fat of all the sheep and all. They also eat horse. So a lot of fat and they don't clean the fat, you know. So this is what happened to many people who are around here. Mm? So many people die because early they eat meat. They are nomads. They're nomads. They just grill it and eat, you know. And I'm sure they, they, they probably don't have salt also, no. The sea is very, very far away. I don't know how they get salt those days, okay. So now, this is how it is. Huh? That is, that, that is a, a Patricia. Standing in front there, mm -hmm. standing in front there, eh? look, <laughs> that's how he looked like. You know, you don't expect him to go and fight, he's holding something in the hand, I don't know what is it, okay? Right, now, Genghis Khan was impossible to know for sure how many people perished during the Mongol conquest. Many historians put the number as somewhat of 40 million people. By the time when I went down there and sat down there, when I checked, there were 46 or 47 million people, souls were still around. Some would have gone, some would have been there. No, Hitler had six million. So this guy is a master of killing machine. Hitler was bad, but this guy is even bad. You know, you don't know what actually happened. They traveled around. There's no really count. Okay, when we checked, was six forty-seven million or something like that. Go and check the one I talk about. Okay, now that defeated Genghis Khan, but nothing defeated, but only death. Death defeated his enemy from the great beyond. The siege continued, and as he did, the great Khan died. He told his son to keep the death a secret lest the enemy be embodied by his passing. They did, and the city fell uh, into their hands a month later, still unaware of his campaign. So they were not aware. So this was a done. He was sick. He was going to die. But he told the guy, don't tell him to go, go and fight, fight, fight. I said, I am coming. So the word, the Genghis Khan word is ever so strong, people lost to him. Hmm? Very, very sad. Okay? Look, this is, this is the place there. There's a monument built on stainless steel. Right on top of his monuments, so lots of lots of things. They got upstairs and downstairs. It's about three stories, three stories high, and downstairs. So they did all of these things to show. And I don't know why he's still holding the knife and looking at one side, he's looking still want to go and fight. Hmm? Look at the way. See that that's the knife he's holding now. He's taking the knife out, and he's the one hand is up there like that. You know, see. So I still want to fight. I'm not going to let go. So when you have this kind of thing, this kind of energy, how energy will be around? Now this all his descendants. He's there, and his seven sons, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sons. So, so this is how, you know, eight sons, then they go down, his children, his children, grandchildren go around, and that's what they do. They go around fighting, 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 and they just want land. They just want land, land, land. Hmm? Right, now look at this whole map. The one that's colored brown is where they went. You know, and they, there's also showing the pictures that are coming down. 
This may not be the, the Mughal, but the Chinese who under during the Kublai Khan reign, they took boats and they came to a lot of places. That's why the Chinese at that time come to Malaysia called the Babas and Indonesia they also got names. So the Chinese also came to this kind of area. Uh, you know, the Hang Lipo, Hang Jabat or the Hang Dynasty and all, no? so they, they came. So it may not be the Mughals, but the Chinese who came down there. So now the Chinese has made a great wall. Now look at how they fight. Hmm? So when somebody come to you like this for fighting with a big horse with all kind of stuff, you get scared. You, you cannot fight because you you don't have trained horses and think that you are a peaceful farmer and doing some faithful thing and you don't fight. You know they couldn't go to India because of the, because of the Himalayan Himalayan range were protect them. And if they had gone, the Indians used elephant to fight. <laughs> horse would have been no match. You know that's what happened when Alexander came to India. He lost because they were elephants. They were fighting against the elephants. They had elephants in their army. You know. So that bad, you know. So imagine how how powerful these things these guys were. Hmm? Right. Next, watch this. It's a video. Picture you see. showing how after the winning of the war, people offer them all this gold. Take everything, go. Don't kill us before even coming there. Take this what we have. Now look at these guys. The, the how how they look. How barbaric they look. When somebody comes to your house with all dressed like that, what do you do? You surrender. You can't fight them. They're killing machines. Hmm? So how much harm would have happened? Those, it's just a painting. Uh, what could have happened? Imagine what actually happened. Hmm? Giving all the gold coin. Take everything. Go, go. Don't, don't kill us. Don't destroy us. No. Give us life. Hmm? So, so that's a video of a young lady standing in front of a dead man. After all the visit to all the places we have been in Mexico, I mean, uh, in Ulaanbaatar, uh, the monument, finally I saw one picture that shows. That makes the sense. There's a lady here. She's crying and holding the heart. And down there is a dead man. Dead man can be the husband, boyfriend, father, brother. It's the only picture I've seen right now that shows, depicts what actually happens after the big war, winning and fighting and all kind of stuff. The sorrow, the pain, everybody goes through, especially women who have lost their husband, father, brother, son. It's very sad. It's a true story. True what actually happened. Hmm? What actually happens. Finally. You see something real. Something happened, something real. Not killing something and fighting real, all the names real, of people. Of what goes on in the real world, how people go through after war. Going to war is very easy, but who comes back, who doesn't come back, who decides? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, women, how much the curse of woman will be, how much you'll be crying, the man is lost, could be a son, could be a brother, could be a husband, could be a boyfriend, all these things. You know? So it's very, very sad. Life is gone. So imagine how much a curse will go from women. Women curse is the most, most sad curse. So the whole country could be cursed. Mm? Whole country, the whole, whole race could have been cursed. No? Now look at this. Now this is the Great Wall of China. This is the Great Wall of China. Starting from here, mm, goes all the way down until to the river, to the, to the ocean. Stopping the Mughals from coming inside. It's not an easy stuff to do. Starts from here, 20,000 kilometers of wall to keep the, the Mughals from coming into China. So imagine how they must have built it, for how many years it took to build. It's not going to be built in two months or three months. I'm not sure how many, how many, how many years it took, maybe 100 years or 200 years, because these guys were coming, coming, coming. How to stop them? They come and take all the wealth and go away. Come and take all the wealth, like robbers, you know. They come and take all the wealth and go away. Maybe the women also don't go away. Hmm? So it's very sad. So now this is a half of it. This is one half of it. And this is the other half going right to the ocean. Hmm? And look at, the, look, at the, look at the Great Wall of China. Can you imagine? Right on top of the mountain. Going on top of the mountain. Going from here. Going from here. Going from here. Going, 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 going. See, it's still going until here. Imagine how to make this thing. Where to make the rock. It's not a small thing. See how high the mountain. Look how. And here is where the army will fight against a... The, the whoever is coming across and they have a station there. 
you know, like giving smoke signal or what, and people are coming, get ready, because going up the mountain is not, not easy for the army to come to fight. They have to go up the mountain, not a straight road, you know. So this is all the ports where they have put arrows to fight small, small holes. So imagine, and we will be there on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Tuesday we'll be there. We're going to the Forbidden City, and we're going to go to the Great Wall of China, and it's very interesting to know what are the things that we're going to find there. Hmm? So imagine how they are gone. Look at this one. Look at this. Starting from here, going all the way here, all the way here, all the way here, doom, 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 and it's still going on. From one corner of the country to the other corner, just to keep the Mongolians away. So they, they, it's, it's going up the mountain stuff, crossing this across <coughs> is very tough. So even a break this is not easy. If it's a flat land, they probably put some bomb and uh, take some wood and break or something like that. So the Chinese are very smart. But imagine how many people died building this place in, in winter. China can get very, very cold in the northern part of China. So how difficult must have been? How many slaves have come from other parts of China to build this? Millions, I think. I can now I can just say, I can say 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Wow. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 million souls are waiting now. Seriously, 90 million souls are waiting. The one who died in the bridge, I mean, in the making the wall, and also from the war that happened among China itself. The war among China itself. Okay? Good. Let's go. Look at this, my friend. Hmm? So. So, look. Hmm? Right. So, look. They have been taken many lives of people, including innocent women and children. Hmm? Now, look. What, what is the bloodiest battle in history? Well, Stalingrad. Battle is bloodiest, huh? From 1942-43, 4.1 million people died. Hmm? Right. Estimated. Next, Battle of... Uh, Changi, Changdi, 1943, 100,000. Battle of West Hubei, 1943, 115. It's not much, okay? Now come to the other one. Look at this. Which, which war was the worst? Worst with an armed conflict, okay? World War II. The estimated lowest is 35 million. Highest estimate, 118 million. We cannot estimate because those days we know who died. We do not know. Yeah. In the chef, World War II, Mongol invasion and conquest, 30 million to 57 million. The Mongol conquest, can you imagine? Uh, how many people died? Where were they? Now, the worst is a Taiping rebellion, 20 million to 30 million people fighting for more than 16 years. European colonies of the Americas, 5.8.4 to 80 million. They're not too sure how many people died. Where the Spaniards went to South America to kill the Incas, the Mayas, and, and also the Aztec, and killing everybody and taking over the power, bringing new people into the whole land. So they say this is what happened, and it's going on for so many years, not just one, two years, going on so many years. Okay? Now, what is the top 10 war in history? List of major, 10 major wars in Battle of the World history that's left in indelible mark on the world and the Civil War of America. The Chinese Civil War, the Taiping Rebellion, the War of the Kalinga, India, the Second Sino-Japanese War, the World War One, the World War Two, and the Third Thirty Years War, the Dungan Revolt, and the Russian March 2020-24. Hmm? So imagine, even recently, 2024, the Dungan Revolt and the Russian March. Hmm? Or is it the March? Okay, Nazi German as part of the deliberate program of extermination systematically killed over 11 million people, including 6 million Jews. In addition to Nazi concentration camps, the Soviet gulags, labor camps, lead to the death of 3.6 million civilians. Can you imagine, my friend, why some people are so bad? This is all dark energy, dark energy coming from the inner world. They're still there. So today I want all of us to find a way. Let's do something and clean up the inner world energy. Eh? Right. Are you guys ready to do that? Hmm? Are you guys ready to follow me today to the inner world to heal and negative energy that's there? Hmm? If you don't want to follow me, please put, please don't join us. Okay? Shut the internet and stay home. <laughs> it's like COVID time for you guys. Okay? Now tell me, I want to know how many of you are willing to follow. Anuradha, yes sir, yes sir. All ready, huh? Dear, yes sir. <laughs> All ready, huh? Seriously, if you guys are not ready, 
please don't join us leave it away because you're going to touch some very high level very high level dark energy very very high level so many souls are out there supporting the war mm -hmm. right see the longest war in history is believed to be the reconquista spanish and uh, reconquista, which is was 781 years wow. yes not only he not only south america but everybody everywhere else everywhere else they went everywhere else even in even in europe everywhere else okay right that's 81 years now typing rebellion you know typing rebellion you know the word typing you know it's, we have a city called typing in malaysia yeah yeah it's not that it's not that typing <laughs> it says also known as the typing civil war or the typing revolution what a civil war in china between the manchurian zing dynasty and the hakka hakka people hakka people oh imagine just just Ethnic people, that's all. That is how they were fighting. Ethnic people, you know. And Tabi Rebellion was a revolt against the Zing dynasty in China, fought with rebellious conviction of regional economic, religious conviction and regional economic condition. It lasted for 150 to 14 years of this war. 14 years. Hmm? Right. So, so now, how many people were died as a result of Islam? But there is an there is an estimate that range from 270 to 680 million people. Academic estimate around 990 million to 1.2 billion people have been died on the result of Islam and continuous war of the religious expansion since seventh century to the current day across the continent. Mm -hmm. It's all people saying we're not sure, but many people have died. You know what is the worst, most death in history? Top ranking history of Vietnam is influenza pandemic. <laughs> The Spanish flu, 1918 to 1919, 20, 24 million people dead. The Black Death, plague, 13, 14, 50, 20, 25 million people. AIDS pandemic, to 2000, 21.8 million dead wow. till today. Can you imagine? AIDS pandemic. World War II. Hmm? World War II. Okay, 15.9 million dead. And the World War I, 9.2 million. Now look at me. How where is this world going to go? Hmm? With all the death and all attachment, how are they going to go? That's why when I go somewhere, I must be surprised. Why are there so many souls around? Why are there still so many souls around? Why? I used to ask myself. I said 10, 20 million. Wow. Am I doing the right thing? I, I have doubts myself, my friend. But that's the reality. I just check and I get an answer. I accept it. I don't go and so, no, cannot be, no. I don't do that. Accept it and move on. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Okay, now we come to end now. Let's hold page number seven right now, guys. Hold page number seven.
Okay. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? Okay, guys, thank you very much. Somebody is asking for the translation of this song in English. I think uh, contact Chitra. Uh, she's from uh, she's from Singapore. She has the beautiful uh, thing. In Singapore, they all sang the song. All the Chinese sang the song. So get it from her, then she will give it to you all, and you can read. She has done it properly. Yeah? Singaporeans, they have to learn Tamil because it's part of the law in the country. For Chinese, you learn Chinese. You have a choice. Either you learn Chinese, Malay, or Tamil. So Indians will normally learn Tamil, Chinese, Chinese, Malay will be Chinese, of course. They, you can do either one of them. So most uh, Singaporeans can speak good Tamil, read and write Tamil. Malaysian Indians who go to school, they can read and write. But people like me, I'm also Tamil from Malaysian. I can only speak, but I cannot read, I cannot write. It takes some time to understand all these things. So it's not useful in my country, so we never learn to use that, okay? Now, great black magic is something where the Guru is also practicing black magic. So when you use the iron card, it may not work because the white magic will come with black magic. So you must read page number seven, play the song, have the calendar and read the iron at the same time. Okay, that's what I mean by great black magic. Okay, now white magic. Eh? So what, what I'm trying to say is a white magic plus black magic, but not very high level black magic. Just the one to keep you there. So if you want to run away, you'll be in trouble. Okay, right. Now please let me send Tamil Nadu. So we have started work now. So please all of us help us with whatever you can give us donation. So that this will work for us, okay? Ah, it's not working. Now let the blessing start, my friend. Of course, you know Gautam is teaching. <coughs> Today we went to a big, uh, big monastery, and uh, we saw them doing a lot of stuff. We sat down there. We had a nice video live. Go and watch it. Very interesting video. You, I'll tell you that you now. All of the people have gone down there, or, uh, doing some mandras and things like the young children. They got eleven years of karma to balance of whatever you've done in past life. And one guy came and <laughs> he was a very funny guy. He came to the video and I took a video of him, okay? Thank you very much. So do that. This is the one you should do. Write views, write thoughts and do good things. Don't think by just saying mantras and turning around some bell or ringing bell. It's not going to change. No, nah, it's not going to change. I don't know why. Whoever taught him this idea that you do mantras, you all be changed. It's not going to change. Please understand this, okay? Very good. Next. What stop your belief system for moving forward? Ah, but I, this is something I will do now. That's the reason why. Okay, now I know why. Sometimes they are all, I got to go back home. I got to go back and start again. It's too many videos, they don't work very well. Okay, let's see if it works now. No, it's not working. It's even worse. I think it's working now. Hey, come on, come on guys. Don't do this to me.
So the, the replicas that gave from previous world to India. Okay, good. Let the blessing start now. Get ready. Remember, God of us teaching. Fine. Your belief system. Think of it, my friend. Think of it. I think a lot of people are changing their belief system now after watching this video. Simple but easy. Don't be the fish in a small pond. Get out. Your body, mind, and soul. Swimming alone. See how am I going? To, how long I'm going to be here? I want to see the world. Like how I said, I want to go to Mongolia, and I'm in Mongolia today. I want to go to Iran. I went to Iran. I want to go to Cuba. I'm going to Cuba. You must all say that what you want to do and work towards that. Your mind and your soul must work towards that. Die, but said, no, I'm going to find out. How do you see the water? I didn't see the water at all. Instinct. I can get I can do better things outside. Okay? So remember guys, all of you need to do that, okay? Right. There will block some much type block. So please get ready, my friends. All of you get ready. Now get ready, my friend. I'm going to put the camp TV on this side. See so if you can see everything properly. Get a bit higher. Okay, good. I'm not sure what you can see, because Zaria is calling me. Sir? Yeah? I wanted, uh, please, to ask you to bless the, the new booklets. Many people have acquired new booklets. Yes, 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 yes. This is, today is also the booklet. I'll, I'll start now, don't worry, I'll start now. It's part of the booklet. Today, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, I wanted to tell you something. Mm. In the south of Brazil, the, the water is still high. People are, there is very cold. But what is happening now is that it's already 10 days. And the people that have rescued and gone into those waters are getting sick with dengue, uh, diarrhea, and leptospirosis yes, from yes. the rats. Yes, Many people yes. are very sick. Yeah, what the rats are all over the place. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 20, 25, 26, 27 bacteria is active. 1, 2, 3 virus active now. Yes, many people 
people that are helping going into the water purposely. Yes, 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 are, are, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Thank Besides, you. your immune system must be very, very strong to go and help people like that. Because the water, you touch the water, because animals die. Rats die. Yes. When they die, so everything is contaminated. Bacteria are everywhere. They can live in water very easily. It's not salt water. Okay, ask them to gargle their mouth. Ask them to gargle their mouth with salt water. Can at least help the mouth from getting contaminated with bacteria, you know? So bacteria. Bacteria is the one bacteria is the one giving all the problems. One, two, three virus. 10, 20, 20, 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 32 bacteria are active now in their place and three viruses. That's all. Okay? Wow. So we will do that Thank now. We, yes, 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 yes. Animals die, Rosario. When animals die, <laughs> every bacteria from the mouth and the stomach all will come out and they go out. And somehow when, when the flooded people are shitting, you know, people are shitting, shitting out, goes everywhere. You know? This is a problem when, when, when there's a flood. The, the disease can go up like nobody's business, cholera and everything else will go, you know, bacteria are everywhere in the whole water will get infested and the water is full of food for the virus, the bacteria to eat. Yes, mm. yes, mm. very, very dire, mm. very dire problems. Mm. Thank, mm. You, mm. thank you, thank you, thank is it you. Stop? Is it, has it stopped raining? In, no, in, in the capital city, yes, but in the state, even in Uruguay, it's full of clouds and it's raining a lot, so the rivers are still... In some places, the water is still rising more and more because it's raining in in land in in, in the in the whole state, not okay. in the capital city, but in the state. So the rivers are still going up, and the trouble is now at night. Okay, we'll remove the dark and we'll remove the dark and that. There's a lot of dark and there's a lot of dark and from people themselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear sir. Thank yes, you, sir. thank you, thank you, dear sir. Okay, okay, okay. Bye, bye, dear sir. Okay, all of you guys, get ready, guys. Please have your booklet. We're going to do blessing for your booklets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's start now. Put a wand in front of you. Bring the wand that you want to get activated. We'll activate shortly. Have your booklet at the same time. Have your wands now. Say, Supreme God, Divine Father, Divine Mother, to my higher soul, to my spiritual guide, my spiritual helpers, teachers, healing angels, the great karmic board, personal beings of Borobudur, Devaraja of Borobudur, all the holy angels, all the holy beings, all the cosmic beings, the cosmic uh, angels, to uh, the, the cosmic council, to all the mother nature, to the nature beings of all the animals, nature beings of all the bacteria, nature beings of all the virus right now, wherever you are, thank you for doing whatever we want. We are asking forgiveness, whatever we may have done wrong to mother nature, to ourselves, to our soul, to our company, to the work that we are doing, to our country. I'm also forgiving everyone for all the wrongdoings that they have done to me, my family, my soul, my company, my work, and my country. To all the nature beings out there, please forgive mankind for whatever wrong to Mother Nature of the wind, clouds, rain, who has brought in river, water from all parts of the ocean, of the Atlantic Ocean, sorry, for, for, the, for the Atlantic Ocean, coming into Brazil and many parts of the area, please forgive us. To nature beings of the ocean, nature beings of the clouds, the wind and the mountain, let it cross and go towards the Alps and go out to the Alps and become snow and keep it there and then later becomes rain. We humbly ask the mountains to keep the rain down there, converting them into uh, snow, keep it there please. Let all the nature beings of the wind, nature beings of the clouds, nature beings of the, for, for the sky, take the water deep inside, let the wind blow them to the Andes mountain. Keep them there as snow and let it go down as and when required, little by little during the summertime. Please help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so all of you are going to start now. Put the one in front of you. Let's start now.
All of you think of your house you're living right now. Think of your home, your house. Think of working place, your company, your department, your office, your business, your shop. All of you take the booklet that you want to get energized. Please hold it in front of your Ajna Chakra right now. Your new booklet. This blessing for the book will remain 24 hours. You can use it to do the blessing. Now take the one now. Hold it in front of the Arjan Chakra, the one that's been blessed before and the one that you want to get blessed right now. Okay, we're going to start removing all the dark energy from the inner world. It's coming supporting the wall all over the world. There's always 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10, 200, 200. 5,000, 200 years old dark energy is still available there and lots and lots of energy. They're calling all the divine beings to come with us to clean up all this negative energy. All of you are going to say this now. You're going to say Mother Earth is a planet of divine fire. Mother Earth is a planet of the God size. All the beings who are here with us today are beings of divine fire. All the beings here with us are here to, to, to purely God inside. Say, Mother Earth is a planet of divine fire. Mother Earth is a purely God inside. All the beings here today are beings of divine fire. All the beings here today are the purely God inside. Let's keep on solving that and let me do my part from now. Remove all the dark energy, which is 5,000, 100, 200 years.
Mother Earth is born of divine fire. Mother Earth is a periodic artifact. All the beings who are here today are beings of divine fire. All the beings here today are the purity gods. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to take part in this great blessing of removing all the negative from the inner world, supporting war and supporting disharmony among people. God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let Mother Earth be blessed with abundance of peace and harmony. Let each and every person living on Mother Earth have the, have the opportunity to say sorry to each and every one of them who have their harm in any form. Let divine being go to each, let the divine energy go to each and every person living down here and forget who they are and let them all know they are all souls and the father of the soul is the God. Our divine light, our supreme light is the father of each and every one of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a drop of divine fire. I am the drop of God desire. I am the soul of divine fire. I am the soul of God desire. God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, my friends, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm, good. So, this thing will be open for the booklet. It will be available, not for the wand. You can sit down today. Your dark energy will go for 24 hours. You can take the wand, will not be energized, but the booklet will be available 24 hours. Okay, so if people who do not come, who still have the book, can join us and do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you guys from China. We're going to China tomorrow morning. We arrive there, we're going to go to the Forbidden City and then go to the Great Wall of China. Let's see what we see there and let's see what we can do. Lots of souls are joined, will be there today. I'm talking about 10, 20, 30, 60, 70, 80, 90 million souls right now. It's a very old country and they've got so much of conflict. Conflict, conflict, conflict. Even the time of the communist changing, many, many, many people died. Many, many people died during the changing. Lots, lots of people died, you know fighting and all. But anyway, there's a peace and harmony today. The country is so well. It's all changes. So we want to remove all the soul so there will be more peace and harmony in the whole world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay my friends. Bye. bye. Okay. Bye. Say bye to everybody, Patricia. Bye. -bye. Uh, first time having one patient only. <laughs> in the class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good.